Okay, heading out and on our way to our next ministry date, Birmingham, Alabama. After an awesome concert last night, we're pulling into the next RV spot, which is Cherokee Landing. We're here in Tennessee, just outside of Memphis, not too far. Oh no, we can't go. I don't have any service. And apparently after hours, you're supposed to call in order to check in. So. Always, always an adventure. You never really know what you're gonna get. Let's see. <laughs> Did you just see that? I get to get on a police radio and call for help. Here they come. <laughs> nah, it looks like it's just a worker. It says ranger. So it might be a ranger. Ranger is like a policeman of the forest. What's that? Yeah. Yeah, that's what they said. I thought you were them. Oh, okay. God be with you. Is that the water shed? She 
said that if we need anything, we can come by the office. And if she's if she's not there at the office, she told us where her camper is. That's where she lives. So we'll go. We'll back right into 20. It's been raining all night and stuff's been hitting our RV. It's been kind of crazy. I think it's probably part of the storm that just hit the Gulf. As long as there's no tornadoes, then I'm okay. Breaking news, monitoring the roads for us. Austin, everybody wants to know, any flooding out there yet? Well, we're not quite done with what's left of Cindy yet. It's moving right across the Mid-South right now. The swirl of winds, which you can track. Winds have been gusting at almost 50 miles per hour in parts of the Mid-South this morning. All this rain is reminiscent of that powerful storm on Memorial Day that left some people in the dark for 11 days. It is not a memory that anyone no. wants to revisit. This morning, just under 13,000 people are without power at this time after reports of downed power lines and trees. So we're back on the road. I'm still half asleep. But Brett is driving as slow and safe as possible because it's really crazy and rainy out there. And I guess there were actually tornadoes south of us, which is really scary. But um, we have sound check in just a few hours, so. We're trying to be as careful as possible because of uh, the storm. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your peace that passes all understanding.
Building my own bridges in the sand Telling myself this is who I am Jesus, rain on my parade Strip me down again, yeah So I'm desperate for you Jesus, whatever it takes Bring me to my end, yeah So I'm desperate for you Hey YouTube, what's up? This is um, Brett again, and uh, I'm here with my new friend Billy, and uh, Billy just shared his testimony. We're gonna give you guys a little snippet of that. I was hearing God speak to me that morning, and him telling me to uh, uh, come to him. But uh, I asked him to just uh, give an encouraging word to those of you who want to share your faith, but maybe you struggle with a spirit of fear or you just struggle with not knowing how to do it. And so, Billy, what would you say to, to people who are dealing with something like that? Ask God um, for boldness to take away all here, all out, and share your faith. Yeah, the, I mean, the thing to remember is God hasn't given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. And I, I think that there's a million reasons why we uh, should share our faith. And the first one is people. And so God is in the business of reconciliation, and he's called us all to be ministers of reconciliation. Just know that with God in you, uh, you can do all things. He will give you the boldness to share your faith. Amen. We just keep it in Arkansas. But wouldn't us tonight, huh? You know, there's just something about the the peace after a storm. And uh, and tonight was one of those nights where everyone who was there got a touch from the Lord and one young lady in particular gave her life to Christ for the first time ever, and I, I mean, it's the, my immediate response is, is that's why I live. Like that's 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 the whole purpose, the whole reason why why we exist is that people would would know Jesus, you know, and uh, it's it's the absolute best when you can actually see that happen. What a night. Missouri. <laughs> Missouri. Mount Vernon, Missouri.